All right, so now we have 11.2 practice problem uh, number five. And number five is double replacement. So a double replacement is like if two couples go out together, um, but A and D get tired of dancing, so they go sit down together while uh, C and B continue to dance. So we have a double replacement. All right. So 5A gives us H3PO4 aqueous plus KOH aqueous produces now it tells us that water is formed so what's happening is this hydrogen is replacing the potassium right um, and the OH is replacing the PO4 so we're gonna have K PO4 plus H2O Right. Now, we look at our polyatomic ions. P phosphate is PO4, 3 minus. All right. So if PO4 is 3 minus and potassium in group 1 is 1 plus, then I'm going to need 3 phosphorus and 1 phosphate. But, of course, we don't have to put the 1. But that's our formula, K3PO4. So then, of course, we have to balance this. We have hydrogen. We have PO4, because it's the same on both sides. We have potassium. And we have oxygen. Now, since we have oxygen here, we're not going to count that as part of the, the PO4. Um, so we have three hydrogens. Actually, we have four hydrogens. We have three here, one here. So we have three, uh, I'm sorry, four hydrogens. We have one PO4. We have one potassium and one oxygen that is not part of the PO4. We have three potassium, one PO4, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. Okay, so immediately... I know I'm going to need at least two molecules of this. That gives me four hydrogens and two oxygens. Then I'm going to need a two over here. Actually, a three. Sorry. So it's going to be, give me three potassiums, three O's, and three H's. Uh, so that would be a total of six hydrogens. Okay. All right. Well, that didn't work. So we keep going. Um, I know I've got three and two here. So I'm going to bump this up um, to a six. That's going to give me 12 hydrogens and 6 oxygens. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to bump that up to a 6. That gives me 6 potassiums, 6 oxygens, and yeah. All right. Um, which means I'm going to put a 2 here. That gives me... Well, that's going to give me six potassium over here, and it's going to give me two PO4s. If I put a two here, now I have two times three, that's six, plus six hydrogens. So that gives me 12 hydrogens, and but it gives me the two PO4 that I need. Um, so how can I get, oh, I have 12 hydrogens on both sides, two, two, six, 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 six. So that balances. Um, the trouble is, 
if you'll notice, 2, 6, 2, and 6. These are all divisible by 2. So this is not the simplest balanced equation. So we, we can just change all, divide all of the coefficients by 2. And we'd have one molecule of PO4, aqueous, plus three molecules of KOH, aqueous, okay, producing one molecule of K3PO4, and that would be aqueous, uh, plus three molecules of H2O. Notice this is the same ratio, two to six to two uh, and six. This is one to three, one to three. So it's the same ratio, all right? And we just simplified the coefficients. All right, so let's look at 5B now. So 5B tells us that we have AgNO3 aqueous plus CaCl2 aqueous produces, and it tells us that we're going to get silver chloride um, as a precipitate. That means it's solid. All right. Now, if we um, and if we get silver chloride, right? So that silver is replacing the the calcium and the calcium is replacing the NO3. Uh, so that means we're going to have calcium uh, nitrate as the other thing. Now, silver is usually a 1 plus, calcium is a 1 minus. So we're done with that one. Calcium is a 2 minus. If we look at our polyatomic ions, uh, NO3 is a 1 minus. So that means I'm going to need two nitrates to balance out that calcium. So we'd have CaNO3, 2. All right, so that's our formula. Now we need to balance it. So we're going to have Ag. Nitrate is the same on both sides, so we leave that together. Calcium and chlorine. All right, I have one silver, one nitrate, one calcium, two chlorines. I have one silver, one chlorine, one calcium, two nitrates. So I need more chlorine and more nitrate. So I'm going to add a two here. That gives me two silvers and two chlorines. And then I'm going to add a two over here. That gives me two silver and two nitrates. That's balanced. So our final answer would be 2AgNO3 aqueous plus calcium chlorine or calcium chloride um, aqueous produces uh, two molecules of silver chloride. Uh, in a solid as a solid precipitate plus calcium nitrate which is aqueous sorry ran out of room there all right but that's uh, practice problem number five